welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing well and staying safe. If you're new here, my name is Rana. Welcome. I hope you enjoy the video that I have for you today on what are the five uh, planner supplies that I think are must-haves when you're first starting out or if you're a planner beginner, a uh, planner newbie. <laughs> um, these are the five things that I think you would need um, when starting out. So I hope you enjoy this video that I have for you today. If you uh, do enjoy this video, I hope that you would consider subscribing. So without further ado, let's get started. The reason why I wanted to do this video is I know when I first started out uh, with planning, there are so many options out there, so many stores and shops that it can be a little overwhelming. So I wanted to simplify things for you um, so that when you're first starting out, we're going to keep it nice and simple and say that you just need these five things just to get you started um, and then you can build on your collection from there. So the first thing that you would need, of course, is a planner. So I recently did a video comparing the different planner styles. So I'll link that video in the description box below if you want to check that out. But basically you have your uh, discs where you can take the papers out. You have your spiral planners where you can't take pages out. Um, you have your ring planner where you can take pages out, put things in. Um, so what I'm going to say and what I'm going to suggest or recommend, again, this is just my recommendation, is that when you buy a planner and when you're first starting out, you get a planner that already has inserts um, set up for you. So it already has your monthly calendar and your weekly so that you don't have to worry about buying inserts for that planner. So again, these planners you can just get from Michaels, from Target, Walmart, whatever the case may be. Okay, you can even uh, buy ring planners from Michaels as well, uh, the Recollections brand, and they also come with, um, you know, built-in dividers and inserts and things like that as well. So that's what I would recommend when uh, choosing your first planner. So nothing too expensive because you do want to get a feel for the size, for the planner, and then you can go from there. Okay, so that's the first thing that you would need. The second thing that you would need uh, for planning is, of course, pens. So my suggestion or recommendation would be if you make a lot of mistakes and you need something, um, you know, to erase, then erasable pens is the way to go. These are friction. You can find these at Walmart, uh, Amazon. Uh, another really good... Um, option would be a Sarasa pen or a quick dry pen and uh, these are really great because when you're writing in your planner if you're on the go or whatnot um, they won't smear so you can write and um, you know if you need to highlight right away you can do that they won't smear because they are um, quick dry so those are my recommendations for pens third thing that you would need when planning is highlighters. Now you can choose whatever highlighters you want. I just don't really like the neon or bright colors, so I like these neutral colors. Um, the options that I have here are mild liners. You can find these at Michaels um, and Staples. I believe Amazon as well. And I also like using Tombow markers. Now keep in mind with Tombow, they might smear when you highlight after you write using your pen. So what I would recommend is highlighting first. Okay. So what I do is I highlight where I want to write. And then I get my pen and write so that it doesn't smear. Because if I try to do it the other way around. Okay, so just to show you a comparison. Okay, it does tend to smear a little as you can tell from the bottom. Okay, so that's just one thing to keep in mind when using these Tombow markers. So the fourth item that I think you would need when starting out uh, planning is sticky notes. Now, you can use whatever sticky notes you like. You can use the post-its. Um, I personally like using white or something not too flashy, so this is what I like. I will put links in the description box below of some of my favorite planner shops where you can get some of these items from. So uh, sticky notes, of course, so that you can um, jot down things that you don't want to forget or if you're doing some future planning, 
um, you could use sticky notes for that. And the final thing that I would recommend when starting out is a clip. So could just be having a paper clip on hand in your planner um, or it could be this Ollie clip. Now this is a magnetic clip so it's very strong. What is That's what I like about it. I have two. So the reason why I would suggest this is if you're on the go and somebody maybe hands you a business card and you don't have anywhere to put it, you can just clip it on there. Or if you know, you're at the doctor's office, they give you a prescription, whatever the case may be, you can just take that piece of paper, clip it, and you are good to go. Okay, so those are the five items that I would suggest starting out with uh, in your planner journey and you can build on your collection from there. So hope you enjoyed this video that I had for you today. If you did enjoy it, I hope you would give it a thumbs up and I uh, hope to see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.